So for most somatosensory information, and we're talking in this case of, you know, all the mechanoreceptive input and all of the, um, you know, emotionally salient in input, we're going to be talking primarily about these, you know, pseudo unipolar neurons with their cell bodies located in ganglia. You know, for the spinal, you know, entry of somatosensory information, remember our body is sort of segmented, you know, 31 pair of spinal nerves with dorsal roots carrying sensory information, you know, ventral roots carrying motor output, efferent output. Um, you know, the, um, they're all going to be coming in through those dorsal roots of spinal nerves, you know, both the mechanoreceptive and the emotionally salient input. Um, and then they're going to be traveling in different cables, we'll see. Like, um, you know, again, for the um, mechanoreceptive input up the dorsal columns. And when we talk about emotionally salient input, we're going to be talking about um, another set of cables in the spinal cord, you know, the axons of these cells or of cells. Um, carrying this information up called the anterolateral system. And we'll explain that that's because this set of cables is actually rising towards the front or anterior portion of the spinal cord, so that's the antero part, and also towards the side or lateral portion of the cord. Um, but by the time you get to the cranium, right, to the head, well, you're still perfectly capable of about knowing, you know, of knowing where your you know, muscles are oriented. You've got proprioceptive information from the face. You've got mechanoreceptive information. You can tell if you've been, you know, touched there, for example. And you also have emotionally significant information coming from the face. You've got, if you injure your face, you've got, you know, nociceptive input. You've got thermal input. Um, you've got itch input. You can have an itch on your face and things like that. Um, so basically, how does all that head information, all the different parts of your face in terms of somatosensory uh, input join these ascending, you know, pathways from the body that have come in through these 31 pair of spinal nerves via, the, via their dorsal roots. Well, there's a cranial nerve called the trigeminal nerve, and that's because it has three distinct branches that serve different zones of your face. So the upper portion here is called the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve, and then you've got the maxillary division along here. And then this lower portion is called the mandibular portion of the trigeminal nerve. Um, and there are big ganglia that are located in here, um, you know, uh, below the skull. But the roots, but, but sorry, the, uh, the, the inputs, the, um, you know, the afferent neuron, the, you know, the dendritic portion of those um, pseudo unipolar cells, right, that have to be out here in the skin of the face, in the ophthalmic area, the maxillary area, the mandibular area, well, they're out here and they have to work their way back in through the skull, you know, to get in, you know, uh, to the ganglia, to reach their ganglia, the cell bodies, and then work their way in through the, uh, what's called the trigeminal nerve, right? Those are the axons, you know, carrying. There's one on the right and one on the left. And I've got a skull here, a human skull, actually, that was donated to us from BioGift. Um, and it's a rather remarkable, you know, individual specimen. Um, so I'm going to show you up close a little bit uh, of how right here, these little holes, a hole here, and then a hole over here. Whoops, let's see, there. Those two holes are right by your eyebrows. And that's where the branch, you know, the right branch and the left branch of the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve, you know, is working its way back in towards the ganglion, you know, which is going to be, you know, under here somewhere, um, uh, basically where the cell bodies of those cells would be located. And then here you can see on either side of the nose, you see more holes. These are more holes for the, for the wiring, for the cabling, from the maxillary division, you know, of your face that will be served by this trigeminal nerve. And again, we're carrying in, it's carrying in both um, the, uh, the, um, the emotionally salient information about, you know, temperature and injury, et cetera, and also the mechanoreceptive, proprioceptive information. It's all coming in through these little holes here for the, uh, these little foramina uh, for the maxillary division. And then for the mandibular division, I actually, um, we don't have a mandible on this particular skull, but I do have a raccoon skull. <laughs> so I get in really close. Let's see, so we can potentially see it. Uh, let's see. Can you see it? Yeah, right up here. There's like little holes here, and on this side, little holes there that are actually for the 
uh, mandibular division uh, of the uh, trigeminal nerve. So the, the cell bodies of somatosensory neurons, both the uh, emotionally salient inputs like nociceptors and also the mechanoreceptive inputs like Meissner's um, are going to be actually, um, it's going to be located in what's called the trigeminal ganglion. Uh, but the, the, the face is divided into three zones, you know, the, uh, uh, the ophthalmic, the maxillary, and then the mandibular you know, down below. And there's actually physical holes in the skull to allow all those cables in.